Money makes the world go round, and that's no different in old school RuneScape. Everyone's always on the lookout for the fastest ways to make GP in the game. But what are the best money makers in 2022? I want to find out, so it's time I get a job. Oh, finally, that's such good news. I've been so worried about you spending so much time on that silly little game. Uh, a job in RuneScape. You bring shame on this family. So what are the best ways to make money right now? According to the wiki, that would be next at 11 mil per hour. Well, they're wrong. Players working RuneScape jobs can earn so much more. Now, before I begin, I have to clarify that last year, login account services were made bannable by Jagex. However, paying for in-game help from fellow RuneScape players using RuneScape Gold is absolutely fine. And that's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to be doing the best of the best methods with the most skilled players in the game, and you might be surprised how much they are raking in per hour. So for my first job, I went and handed in my CV at the Chambers of Zeric. In July 2021, the combat achievements were released into Old School RuneScape. They are a collection of tasks that range in difficulty from easy to grandmaster. Some of the most difficult combat achievements are raid speedruns. Players need a good team to go with, and that's exactly what my first employer provides. Players can pay members of 4 DCA to complete the grandmaster speedrun times, with the prices for tasks ranging from 40 mil to 280 mil, depending on what they need. The workers here are some of the best PVMers in the game, and now that I am a grandmaster, I'm going to join them for my first shift. A player called Nat is struggling with the Grandmaster 5-man chambers time of 12 minutes and 30 seconds. With all these gamers, this should be a breeze. 12.30 to beat. Let's go. Oh, bro, what am I doing? I don't have my attack options on. <laughs> Who's Gary Newer? During the raid, the boosters help the customer with what to do. Generally, people already going for Grandmaster are pretty decent at the game, so it's just a matter of coordination. Uh, Nat, can you go stand up front with them so you don't get burned? Yes, All right, so for this phase, we're going to do one hammer, three scythes, and then go to mage side. I want to do the third scythe from thumb. Mm-hmm. We're gonna go right now. Super clear, calm, and concise instructions makes the raid flow very smoothly. And of course, we completely smashed the Grandmaster time by over one minute and 40 seconds. These guys are really good. And we had a very happy customer. Amazing run by the Dream Team, carried by no less than the solo mission. Uh, we, absolutely, <laughs> we absolutely smashed the DM turn that over two minutes with highly oh, recommend. Right. This task costs 80 mil with four boosters, which leaves me with a 20 mil split for 10 minutes 49 work. Let's say it took me nine minutes to gear up. That's still 60 mil GP per hour. And that's not even the best one. For example, the two-man top time is 26 minutes. Say if you did two of those in an hour, that's 150 mil per hour. Now, obviously, it's not going to be consistent, but when you show up and do it, you're earning a ton of GP per hour. How many orders do you think you guys have done overall? Uh, over 500 is what we're at right now. So if you've done 500 tickets, that must be at like 50 mil or something like that. More, probably. Probably more, okay. I mean, some tickets can equate to over a bill just from one ticket, depending on what they get. Oh, shit, okay. Like, if someone orders every single time, like Cox, Nightmare, and TOB, that's like a 1.5 bill or something like that. Wow, and people have actually spent that on one ticket, have they? Yeah, yeah, we've had people that get every single time. Definitely one of the best money makers in old school RuneScape. If you do want a boost, you can go to the 4DCA Discord in the description. Have you ever wanted a specific pet or items filled in quickly on the collection log? Well, my next job is all about that. PVM boosting is where one player pays another to assist them in getting fast kills per hour on a boss with all the kills in their name. This is a service offered in Pet Court for all the boostable bosses in the game. There are some crazy methods which require good resources and high APM. If you've got what it takes, the money is very rewarding. Players pay their boosters per kill, so the more kills you can get the customer an hour, the more money you're stacking. 
stacking up. I'm going to work for one hour boosting at Callisto and see how many kills I can get my customer. Here we go. These are four of my accounts all geared up and ready to do some boosting and I'm playing on every single one of them. And here comes my customer right now. Looking very excited. Can I tell you up on the same tick on all four? Come on. Oh, that looks so good. I miss one. Holy shit, it's going to be difficult to control all these accounts at the same time, but it should be manageable once I set it up. It's like playing my group Iron Man all over again. There's so much going on right now, but the customer is clawing and scything because it's better DPS than Verax. I don't want to get any kills on my Verax accounts, so it's important that they don't do too much damage. To ensure the customer gets every kill, I'm using the Lunar spell Energy Transfer, which takes my 100% special attack and gives it to him so he can use Dragon Claws twice and take every single KC. Also, I only have three Virak accounts. My fourth is a fully supportive role. I tally up to Dark Crabs and make my way back to Callisto. When I get there, I use my full special attack energy transfer on the boosty and also heal up any accounts that need it and drop some vengeances. Once that's done, I can run down, teleport to Edge, use my house portal to replenish and complete the cycle all over again. Wait, no way! I just got the D2H on this account. What the fuck? <laughs> Oh my god, no way! <laughs> no way! Holy <laughs> shit! Okay, that's one hour completed. It is time to get out of the wilderness. Sadly, I did get a few Callisto kills on my accounts. That wasn't supposed to happen, but yeah. In the hour, my customer got 50 Callisto kills. At 800k per kill, that is 40 million GP per hour. Minus a few supply costs, but that's not too much of an issue. I know what you're thinking, a measly 40 mil per hour. Well, if I didn't get all the kills on my alts and I wasn't a complete noob, I would have got over 50 mil per hour. But don't worry, I called in the experts so we can see how it's really done. Corporeal Beast is one of the main bosses people boost for their pets, and it costs 1.4 million GP per kill. But you can get 60 kills an hour, but even so, getting the pets would cost you 7 bill if you went on raid. I'm currently doing 1 plus 6 plus 6 corp, which means I'm with two players both playing on 6 accounts each. This is easily one of the coolest things I've ever done in old school. How am I getting lapped by the guys that are playing on 6 accounts? I'm late back to the corp already. <laughs> Holy shit. The boosters spec down corp with Dragon Warhammers and Bandos God Source to lower its defense, after which I'm able to Zarak Crossbow spec for guaranteed Ruby Bolt chance get energy transferred from a booster spec again so that's 220 guaranteed damage from the Zarek crossbow special effect after that there's no way i don't get the kill every single time all the accounts have different roles it could be luna spellbook special attacks dps there's just too much to cover one thing that's for certain is these guys are making some of the best money per hour in the game pet court has completed nearly a thousand orders for an estimate of over 250 billion gp one of the boosters shared their stats with me and it averages out at 47.4 million gp per hour crazy if you do want to get a boost from pet court their Discord link is in the description. I've been on the lookout for the best jobs in the game for a while, and when I found this next one, it blew my mind. Welcome back to the chambers of Zeric. Iron men can pay to take part in a berserk scale raid for 350 mil. With this method, the Iron Man account has a 65% chance at getting a purple. It only takes five to six hours and can be done for pretty much any level account. How? I don't know. Let's find out. So here I am on my pure Iron Man. Some of you may remember this guy. I'm 78 combat and I don't really have any hope of doing raids normally. I've also brought along a few other accounts to help scale this raid up. The idea is we bring tons of accounts into a raid, which means the overall points total will be huge. But only two accounts will be getting points. My Iron Man and the booster's name. All right, so these are my five accounts here. And yeah, that is one guy logged into all those other accounts over there. Oh my God, a party size of 27. This is gonna be massive. My role in all of this is to be a skiller. I'm gonna let the main account do most of the raid while I skill and get all my points that way. And because the raid is boosted so much, there are so many skilling points on offer. What is going on? He's lured all the shamans into one corner of the room on an alt with Shazian armor. Now his main account comes in and starts chinning the stack of shamans from the safe spot. My current job, just collect as many secondaries as possible along with cave worms so I can fish throughout the raid. This is mad by the way. Five minutes later, 
and this guy is still chinning these shamans. That's how many hit points they've got. This raid is scaled up to 27 people. So, why am I fishing? Come on, man, you know the score. Just click that button. So if you didn't know how skilling in a raid works, when I catch and cook fish, I can give them to my main that can then eat them. And when my main eats them and gets healed hit points, I get points for that. So that's how I'm going to get all the points on my pure newbie little Iron Man. What is going on, man? The mummies are dying. They're suiciding. Nah, they're just chugging some overloads to get a bunch of points from the raid potions. Normally, a customer would cook and fish until they hit the food cap. But I want to go and help out with the actual raid. Let's go kill some monsters. I'm an Esky dance keeper. Get the weed cheaper. Quantum leaper. The Tottenham High Streeter. Esky beat beater. A star reader. Four times community service preacher. <laughs> Have you ever seen a raider with lots of points? Yep, I hit the personal cap, but my fish are still going towards the team overall chance at loot. So it's still worth me making food until we hit the food limit. Okay, it's time for this guy to shine. Only me and him have any points and wait for it. He's about to go and solo ohm for two hours. Yes, you did hear that right. He's going to be doing it on his own for two hours. My account is nowhere near good enough to help with this. So I, I back him. Hopefully he doesn't die. I'm sure he won't. He's a pro. Last name ever. First name greatest. Like a sprained ankle boy. Ain't nothing to play with. Right then, he's left me to finish this off on my own. It should be pretty low hit points. And I get the privilege of killing the Ohm. Okay, it's supposed to be dead by now. It's supposed to die. Hello. Surely I get a purple. 63% chance for there to be a purple. And I do. That's crazy how that works. It shows 23% for me, but that's not actually right. I do have all that 63% there to get this purple because the other people in the raid have no points. Oh, what's it going to be? It's going to be something I can't use. I just know it. I'm on defense. I'm never training defense. I'm... Oh my fucking god. I actually got a Kodai. Are you joking me? <laughs> Nah, that's too good. That's too good. So this account is a pure Iron Man, which means I've got one defense and I'm also keeping it at 50 attacks. So there are only three out of 15 raid rewards, which are useful to me. And two of them are mega rares, including the Kodai. This is incredible. I still can't believe that's happened. Oh yeah, and it's 63%, not 65% because I messed up halfway through the raid. That would never happen. It should have been 65%, which is even better so crazy i like such a weird method anyway enough of getting sidetracked this is about making money and this guy has just made 350 mil for six hours of work and that's pretty much 60 mil gp per hour this method is really chill he made things super easy to understand so if you do want to hit him up his name's Bass and his Discord is in the description. So, are there any better money makers in old school RuneScape? I couldn't find any. If you know, let me know. Hello, it's the Martian, Space Jam Jardins. I want this shit forever. Wake up and smell the garden. Fresher than the harvest. Step up to the target. If I had one guest, then I guess I'm just New Orleans.